These are my top five books of Paramahansa Yogananda. I have read over 10 of his books and these are the best ones that I've come up with. So without further delay, let's get right into it. Coming in at number five, we have The Law of Success. This book is pretty dope and it's pretty small, which is a big reason. I'm holding my hand up here so you can kind of see the size of it. The big reason that I'm suggesting this is because that it is small. I don't want to force you guys to jump into something you don't want to read or listen to. It's about five bucks wherever you buy books. What this book is, is a collection of books and articles and lectures from Paramahansa Yogananda, all based around success. And whenever we're saying success, we're saying success in everything. Success in happiness, success in health, wealth, prosperity, relationships reaching divinity, becoming more spiritualized. All of this are important markers for success and you define what those are, but this book will help you to define those as well. It even dives in how you can use God's unlimited power, source energy's unlimited power in your own life to create success. And that's really the point is to use that unlimited power to become successful in every aspect of your life. Who do I recommend this book to? First of all, every, anyone. As we're going throughout these, I'm gonna tell you what, number one, everyone should read all the books that I'm putting out here, but I'm gonna get into very specifics of who should read each individual book. So who should read The Law of Success? I would say anyone who's starting to dip their toes into Yogananda's teachings. Why? Again, because it's small. That smallness, it's, it, it'll be easier for you to consume. It won't seem like a burden. It'll be like, a, okay, maybe I'll check out who this person is kind of deal. Although it's small, the information it is packed full of wisdom. With this book and every other book on this list, I recommend that you get the printed version. I've tried getting the audio on a couple of these books, which we'll talk about later, but the information is so powerful. You're really gonna wanna sit with each word and each paragraph that gets communicated to you, because it's going to invoke emotions and thoughts and ideas that you've never thought of before. And if you're listening to an audiobook, you're gonna hear it, you're gonna feel it, and then you're gonna start thinking about it. But the audiobook doesn't stop because you start thinking about it. And so that's a big reason that I highly recommend you get the printed version of this book and every other book that is going to come across in this recommendation. So with all that being said, coming in, on Paramahansa Yogananda's greatest hits in at number four is Living Fearlessly. This book is so powerful. I can't believe that it's at number four on the list. Like it feels like it should be higher on this list. And I've kind of been battling with myself if this one should be higher, but it's found its way at number four. And what it is is a collection again of articles and lectures of Paramahansa all related to the topic of fear. Now he defines fear as being the root cause of all suffering and all failure in life, which is a pretty bold statement to make. And this book's sole purpose is to remove that fear from your life, remove the negativity, remove the influence that fear has on your life. And so what Paramahansa does is he provides us with affirmations, practical methods and yoga techniques in order for us to live fearlessly. So with that being said, I recommend this for anyone who is living in a place of fear, which I can almost guarantee is a lot of us. I know a lot of you are living in a place of fear and I know I've lived there myself. I still battle with it every single day. It's about the size of my hand, which again, makes it pretty digestible. But like I said in the last one, take your time with it, read it, read a paragraph, ingest it, or integrate it, whatever you got to do. It's a small one. Highly recommend that. I also do think at this point in time, I do want to mention that autobiography of a yogi will not be a part of this list. I know, right? Crazy. I bet so many of you thought that that was going to be number one on the list. And the way I see it is that autobiography of a yogi is like on this old different spectrum. It's on this different playing field altogether. I recommend you read that book for sure. That is one that you could get the audiobook for, and that would be acceptable in air quotes. All right, let's keep moving along. Why are we slowing down? Who's slowing down here? Coming in at number three of the top five Paramahansa Yogananda books, we have Scientific Healing Affirmations. This is a powerful one. This entire book is based on a lecture that Paramahansa gave in 1924 in Boston. 
In it, he describes scientific principles around the idea of affirmations. He talks about how affirmations influence the subconscious mind, how they influence your psyche, how they influence the cosmic energy around you, and how you can actually use affirmations to penetrate God's will, his force within you. So at a high level, what this does is it really teaches you the power of thought and concentration to heal your mind, to heal your body, and to quite frankly, heal your soul and to completely change the outcome of your life. It, it'll go, it goes through healing like illnesses. It goes through healing fear or habits or any lack of success. So it's really something that builds on those first two. So if you read those first two and you're like, okay, I want the next step. This is going to be it. Scientific healing affirmations and who I recommend this to anybody who has seen the power of affirmations, who knows about the power of affirmations, but hasn't seen the progress that has come with them. And with that being said, I know affirmations aren't everything you still need to do. You still need to will your way into the reality you desire, but affirmations can be a powerful tool in helping you with that if used appropriately which is the point of this book. If you think affirmations are BS, <laughs> I recommend this book to you because I guarantee that you have been doing affirmations incorrectly for your entire life. And that's cool. Again, I'm not saying this is going to fix everything in your life, but it is a powerful tool that you can use to implement to make your life even more powerful. As a side note, as a, as a little, like uh, we'll say this is like 3B, I would highly recommend metaphysical meditations because this book goes through a bunch of different um, meditations or affirmations essentially that you're able to use. So like once you've read scientific healing affirmations, you're going to be like, I want more affirmations. Metaphysical meditations is going to be the supplemental item for you on top of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Coming in at number two is Sayings of Paramahansa Yogananda. Now, this is honestly my favorite book, but there's a reason that it's at number two on the list. Sayings of Paramahansa Yogananda is a collection of Paramahansaji's most profound and inspiring sayings that he has said throughout his life to his followers and members of his self-realization fellowship. He talks about spirituality, talks about meditating, talks about happiness, talks about self-improvement, health, relationships, God, and so much more. And the quotes inside this book have the power to guide you to internal peace. And again, this is a book I highly recommend you get in print because the way that it is laid out is almost in these like paragraph type stanzas. And the idea is, is you kind of can just read one of these paragraphs and pull profound wisdom from the story that's in just a single paragraph. So profound. And the way that I've been using this is kind of as like a tarot card deck. I'll sit there, I'll try to think of a question I have and flick through it. And then whenever I land on that paragraph and whenever I open that page, I look at the first paragraph and it's profound how that wisdom impacts the issue or the problem that I was trying to solve. I highly recommend this book to anybody who is a bit more down it, down the rabbit hole, if you will. Someone who knows who Yoga, Yogananda is, you want more of his teachings, you want more of his wisdom, all packed into a single book. This is going to be the book. This is the book right here. Let's get to number one. Drum roll, please. The top, the number one book by Paramahansa Yogananda that I recommend to you guys is da -da 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 The Science of Religion. Now, The Science of Religion is based on a lecture that he gave in Boston in 1920, and it explores the whole purpose of religion. He talks about and in his words, defines religion as the purpose of the removal of pain and the realization of bliss or of God within you, your self-realization of God. He goes throughout it and talks about four fundamental methods of attaining this 
place of bliss and removal of pain and suffering. It talks about it from an intellectual, a devotional, a meditational, and a scientific perspective. What's interesting about this is that it is all, it's compatible with all faiths. So if you're listening to this and you're a Hindu or a Buddhist or a Muslim or a Christian, all of these are going to obtain to you. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I see how this is in my religious texts and how this describes it beautifully and perfectly. I think another important point to talk about here is the word science, because I believe that generally speaking in the construct or the layout of society at the time right now, we have this separation of science and religion in our minds when really we shouldn't. There's no reason they're, they're explaining two different things. Now, science is the process of doing something again and again to get an outcome, to see that, to find a testable outcome. So the point is, is what are the repeatable things that we can do from a religious perspective, from a spiritual perspective to find the highest attainment possible, which would be the removal of suffering and attainment of bliss? What can we do? What are the things that we can do? And so this book breaks that down. Who would I recommend this to? First of all, anyone again, I recommend it to everybody, but specifically I recommend it to anyone who has like a bad taste of religion in their mouth. You know, like me personally, I grew up Presbyterian. They did some shady shit changing the Bible. It didn't make sense to me. So then I kind of disdained organized religion. And this book really brings me back to it. I'm like, oh, it like gives you that 30,000 foot perspective of, oh, this is what's happening, huh? This is what's going on here. Highly recommend it from that regard. I also recommend it to anyone who doesn't see any purpose in religion. Maybe you're agnostic, maybe you're a nihilist. This will, in my opinion, free you. I feel like that's a weird way to put it. In my opinion, this will kind of show you the right, no, I don't want to say it's the right way. That's wrong. This will help you to at least remove that pain from your life, even if you're not like all into God, which is weird because I don't know if you'd be at this point in the in the podcast or even in the YouTube video, if that was the case, but this will help you find more of that internal divine power that you've been looking for. You'll no longer give it to the outside world and you'll realize that it relies all within you. Highly recommended. And again, of course, I recommend this in book form. This is 100% book form recommended. With that being said, that is my conclusion of the top five Paramahansa Yogananda books. So with all that being said, conscious monkeys, I love you all. And we'll talk about these books whenever I see you guys in the sixth dimension. Peace.